For a moment it seemed that the BBC seriously believed that the British people were going to sit back and silently watch our heritage be shamed, our culture condemned, our history erased and our patriotism be ridiculed. The recent attacks on our beloved British songs, Rule Britannia and Land of Hope and Glory, being branded as racist and imperial, and the unsuccessful attempts to ban them from being sung at the last night of the proms, are testament to how little the establishment reflects the values of the majority of this country and the contempt they harbour for most of us who take pride in our British traditions. Do we need any more evidence that much of the media is utterly out of touch with the people of this nation and that they have resorted to manipulating and spinning news to suit their anti-British agenda? What was once a respected British institution is now a shamelessly biased propaganda machine for radical leftist ideology. We have witnessed the British Broadcasting Corporation dramatically morph into a blatant tool for indoctrinating the British public into rejecting our heritage. The BBC is no longer an informative, reliable and unifying force. They seem unable to fathom what it means to be British and to be proud of our nation's legacy. They no longer represent the values of our people, but of those who wish to see them destroyed. Any institution that relies on funding from the British taxpayer must be held accountable. The BBC is failing to honour the charter upon which it was founded in its inability to represent impartially a diverse range of views and conduct thorough investigative journalism. More than ever, we need the Conservative Party with their notable majority in Parliament to make a stand and to support the ordinary Britain's fight to keep our culture and values alive against the monolithic leftist ideology so pervasive among all influential British institutions, of which the BBC is perhaps the most far-reaching of all.